Hi guys, welcome back here to part 2 and uh, I just got the motors out that one here and that one and I had to do was uh, turn it a little bit, they're not uh, practically glued inside, they're not and uh, here it is that is the, the motor for that side here they're not glued in, you can uh, pull them right out which is a good thing and here is the motor that is not working. I'm gonna turn it that way. I'm gonna turn the drone on. So the drone is on. Turn the controller on here. Not working. Yeah, the motor is not working at all. I'm gonna turn it back off. So that little motor here, not working. So I may have to open up the plastic. Open up the plastic cover here and see what's wrong with it. And that is the wiring. I have to put that back in. Where do they have it here? And that one here, over there. Um, it's above it, on the other side, in the bigger hole, I think. It is in the bigger hole, so... That one there, it is probably. That one there. Or is it? Is it that one? I think it's... I think it's this hole here, I'm not sure. If I turn that guy like that, matching this uh, blue wire here, then I would say that this wire here would go up into into that little hole here into come on focus up here into that hole right there thing is that one here that one here is going up into this hole here as well so it's going into the it's going into the smaller hole here so that red wire there will go into that small hole up here because these these two holes probably don't, don't mean anything. These are probably probably just for for air to get through here, so it's gonna be that hole where the red wire is gonna go through. And it's gonna be soldered on like in inside the motor. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna solder that on. So that is an easy fix. Well, this motor here, I'm gonna have to open it up to see what's wrong with it. So there's gonna be a video on that when I know how to open up, open up the plastic here, because it's, it's not that easy since this is a small motor and those are very very small holes to get at. I don't know how I'm gonna be doing that. Like I said, very hard to get it to open up the clips here and then like uh, pull the, the plastic covering off that is going to be a hard thing to do so I might do that off camera and when I have the plastic cover off I'll show you guys what it looks like from the inside and see if we can uh, somehow fix it. So yeah, I'm glad that they didn't uh, glue the motors in otherwise there would have been no way of getting the, the motors off here. 
those models here, they're practically just, uh, that's a tight fit in there. A tight fit for, for the motors in here. So not glued on because it's a tight fit. So yeah, no need to get the, the little sprockets off, the small sprockets here, off, off the motor. No need to get them off, I was lucky. Not, not to break them off or... Yeah, I can, I can leave those on, no problem. So, so yeah, that is going to be another project. Trying to repair that one and trying to repair this guy here. Like I said, that one, that one, and that one over there. Those are soft. Like you can uh, turn them and they go soft. Everything is working. That one is working. Just that one is kind of kind of hard to turn. I, I don't know why. So we're going to have a look in that one. So thanks for watching here. This is going to be part two. Of a, I don't know how many parts this is going to be. So let me know in comments below what you guys think of this video. And uh, yeah, this is the Dong Ming Tao RC drone. Cover goes back on. I think it's, I think it's this way here. So I'm going to put it back up there, so I know which way it's going to go on. Yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.